Hey everybody, it's Chase with American Vintage Adventures again, and today I am here, I am back. It is my first night at Halloween Horror Nights. Now I'm gonna have a bunch of videos coming for you, so you might see this a few times, but I'm so excited to be back here. We've got a few days here. I'm gonna rank the houses, you're gonna get my rankings, we're gonna do the scare zones, we're gonna try all the food, we're gonna do everything Halloween Horror Nights. This is my favorite time of the year, and this is my favorite event of the year. I can't wait. Come with me, I got you. Let's go do this. All of the Halloween Horror Nights merch. Tank top. Or something. All right, so a hat change was in order. I got my Universal Orlando annual pass holder males die in hat. And I've got the first drink of the HHN season. I got my souvenir cup because it is refillable for a discount price. It's like uh, most drinks, it's like $17 or $17.50 to get it in this 20 ounce refillable cup or it's like $13.50 or $14.50 to not get it in the cup. But then when you get a refill, it's like $10 or something like that. So this is the way to go. You get to keep the cup the whole time. You can bring it back each night. And uh, my first drink of the season was the Aperol Spritz and uh, Marisha making a cameo. Uh, it's it's um, the Sinister Spritz, which is basically just an Aperol Spritz with Fanta Orange added. So I'm having some stomach uh, my stomach is not agreeing with me tonight and I have a lot of food that I want to eat so Aperol I learned on a Disney cruise from Kurt great bartender that it can actually help your stomach so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that as the reason now as strong as he made that drink I certainly hope it helps my stomach or I just may not care by the end of it but uh, cheers to that Risha got the uh, what is this one called surreal soda the Surreal Soda. This has what in it? Vodka, Sprite, Fanta, and a little uh, blue carousel. Vodka, blue carousel, blue carousel Fanta, Sprite. Sprite. Pretty sweet. It's good though. It honestly probably tastes better than this, but this has more alcohol in it for sure. For sure, but cheers to the start of HHN kicking it off right but you know I'm gonna have to get those pumpkin beers at some point so I got to get my stomach right here so that it starts so I can eat and try all this food and the pumpkin beers we got a lot of houses to do we're here for stay and scream and uh, we're ready to get to it cheers all right first house of the season Universal Bloodline starting out with kind of classic Universal Monsters down here in the very back in the two sprung tents check it out right next to goblins feast these are the two new sprung tents portable air So the plan is to knock these two out, Eternal Bloodlines, then Goblin's Feast since we're back here, and then head over to Slaughter Cinema. Waiting on my buddy Justin to arrive at six o'clock, and uh, his big thing is like me, he's a Ghostbusters fan. Big time 80s movie fan, 80s kid. So we're gonna hit Ghostbusters later. We just may have to stay in line for it a while. <laughs> We are heading in. It's time for Lincoln Hawks mode engaged. See you on the other side. All right, so we are out of Goblin's Feast and Universal Monsters Bloodline. And uh, the downside to stay in Scream is a lot of times 
the boo holes are not completely full. Like you could see, especially in Goblin's Feast, which is a very short uh, house, like the walkthrough. Uh, you could see I kind of like four so obviously opinion. empty boo holes. So I'm looking forward to going through it again. There were a couple with Universal uh, Bloodlines. That one was cool. The story was hard to follow. The design, the set design in Goblin's Feast was super cool though. So we'll definitely take another run at those two, but uh, fun way to start. We are headed into Slaughter Cinema. We have to come back at dark so we can see the screen. We are on our way through the first scare zone of the night. We've already done three big houses and it's only been about an hour and 20 minutes and we've had some food. Time to go through a scare zone. <laughs> he just got me good. Ah! <laughs> In broad daylight, he got me good. I was focused on the one over there. Scared the shit out of me. zombie swamp we are headed over to meet my friend Justin who's over by Bruce the shark in San Francisco we are in line for our second drink of the evening but this is going to be a first this is an HHN exclusive we're over at the new shades Alcatraz and we're here to see Murph to get us a n -n 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 shark bite it's gonna be Justin's first shark bite first time first time and uh, yeah, you gotta wait on Murph and get this shark bite. Zombie shark in the water. It's Wednesday night. It's universal time. It's HHN 33. The fog is near. Whether dead or alive, horror never lives. And thanks for jumping by. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. And by the way, your brain stays just fine. Chop, 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 chop. Have a spooky time. Chop, 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 chop. Zombie shark. Yeah. Fantastic. There's that, there's that. Best in the business. Okay, so we got the ocean attack, the zombie shark attack tonight for HHN. Murph's the best in the business. I like it. It's okay. It's too sweet for me. It's it's well made, but it's so sweet. It doesn't taste like coffee. <laughs> Justin likes it. Beer. it. Tastes like a pina colada slash suntan lotion. It tastes totally like suntan lotion with rum, and it's delicious. Plus, you're supporting one of the all-time classics, Jaws. That's true. Bartender here, Murph, is world famous. Go on, Sam. He's worth a little bit extra weight. He totally makes the drink worth it. Absolutely. The best in business. And you have to complete it by getting your picture with Bruce like we just did. <laughs> All right. See you later.
clouds are much better when it's dark and there's fog. But if you can get a walk through during the daylight, that's pretty cool too. Then you got an idea of how to navigate it and what to expect. Ghostbusters, oh man, that is a 10 out of 10. Great scares, just epic, epic set design, monsters, characters, the scare actors, phenomenal, everything looks phenomenal. 10 out of 10, immediately the favorite house that I've ever done in my life. It is like walking through the movies, there's callbacks to all of the different movies. Uh, I mean, it is Frozen Empire heavy. Absolutely just damn epic. Ghostbusters fans, we're going to get into it more. 10 out of 10. Epic house. Epic. Still on day one, and we are headed through Torture Fair for the first time in the dark. Blumhouse scare zone still on night one. Just rock the mummy. You gotta do the mummy. As well drop in the Diagon Alley and uh, check on some Death Eaters.
A Death Eater. out of nightmare fuel and uh, that is quite the show uh, you can't record in there you're not supposed to record or take pictures but uh, it is a it's like a fever dream burlesque dancing and stunt show uh, with a little bit of like Victoria era Victorian era like steampunk uh, to it yeah, very Cirque du Soleil. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, it's about 25 minutes long. So, that's a little something, and it fills up in there. You better get out there 45 minutes ahead of time for each showing if you're interested. But we are about to wrap up night one, but we are not going to do it without going through the zombie scare zone and the Scream Queens. Is that it? Silver Screams. Something like that. The, the last scare zone. It's, it's 1 a.m. I'm not signed up for this. You scared me once. You went to the other side and we was walking like this. Oh. zombie swamp uh not really enough fog they need more fog in there to, to scare it up and have them you know be hidden in there we've gone through it a couple times now they need a little more fog now there's one way out and it's past mel's diane mel's diane
day. So a little recap tonight, night one, and I don't know what you're going to see all in each video. I'm going to do the, uh, the food in a video of its own too because there's just so much food and drink. I'm going to rank all the houses for you. I'm going to do that in a separate video. We got through five of the houses tonight. Uh, we weren't really going hard for the houses tonight, and uh, but definitely Ghostbusters was the highlight of the night. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten food highlights of the night the say cheeseburger and the eggs and the further and the stay puff marshmallow man s'more all awesome and uh some great drinks like i said we'll we'll do a food full food video uh we'll do a full house rankings video from uh worst to the best in my rankings and then we'll do it you know which one's the scariest and uh we'll talk about the scare zones but just a little recap on tonight night one uh we left georgia at about well we got up at about 4 a.m this morning and uh it is now 1 a.m the following morning so almost a full 24 hours and uh capping it off with the nightmare fuel show is a hell of a way to end the day and uh i think we're gonna leave it right there lots more to come lots more videos hope you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe it does help out the channel and uh until next time i'll see you later <laughs> bye bye